Hey, we got a great feel-good story for you during this holiday week. Uh, today, a veteran-owned business that's making money. Joining us now, Tyler Merritt. He retired from the U.S. Army as a captain, now owner of Nine Line Apparel. Uh, let's just talk about how well business is doing and why you think it's doing so well. First of all, congratulations and thanks for your service. Hey, thank you very much for having me on. Yeah, let's talk about the business. So it's gone crazy. Since 2012 to now, we've gone from my garage to about 190 employees. Uh, it's patriotic-themed apparel. It's a uh, lifestyle brand, you know, where patriotism is cool again. It's uh, one of those things that you want to talk about. So the logo is iconic for uh, uh, giving back, and our organization is very, very big into giving back to our community, especially the veteran community. You know, it, it, uh, things have obviously changed dramatically, right, since the Vietnam War, which my father served in, to now uh, where uh, the troops are appreciated. You know, if you look from 1975 to now, the only institution or group we have greater belief in are, are our troops, and, and, and I think it's a beautiful thing. But the idea that it's, it's such a successful business, you know, a lot of people would be surprised. Yeah, no. Who, it, who's the, buying it? Like, is it just, it's, are people buying it just because they're ex-vets or just folks who want to support? Well, it started off with military units. Uh, obviously, we're doing a lot of patriotic apparel for the organizations I served with. So I was in special operations. We had Rangers, SF. Uh, Delta guys, but then it was friends, and then it was family members, it was first responders, and then it was just patriotic Americans. They wanted to know about uh, what we go through. So the idea is creating a conversation to bridge the gap between those who serve and those who don't. And right now we've got a lot of cool initiatives outside the apparel company with our foundation where we're trying to put our money where our mouths are. Like what? We're, we're trying to end veteran homelessness yeah, right now. Yeah. It's a big uh, epidemic that you know, General Sinsecki started an initiative in 2009 to try to combat this, and his initiative was to end veteran homelessness. Uh, he took it from about 75,000 down to about 40,000 presently, and we're getting pretty close. And we just have to continue that initiative. Can't let you go. Some of the reason for the success, though, is just this booming economy, too, right? I mean, it's sort of the same tide lifts all ships, including your business. Absolutely. There's a lot of excess cash out there, and there's a lot of philanthropic individuals that want to give back to those who've who've paid a lot to allow us to live in the, the, the most amazing country in the world. And they go and donate to our foundation so that we can give back to those individuals. We're 100% volunteer for our foundation. So we, we actually take the community, we bring it together, and we're building the houses on our property. Wow. So the idea is to uh, think locally, act globally. Over 100 employees in business since 2012, and you're just not going to cover off the ball. Absolutely. Congratulations, Tyler. Thank great, you. Great, great. It's great to hear stories like this, but more importantly, what's behind it, you know, that you're giving back and it's for all the right things. Much more success. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We'll see you soon.